So there's like the problem and the solution, right? So it's like a problem statement and then you're, you're nibbling on it. So, and me being in my own records has been a challenge. Um, and it's just taking time. It was like me going into someone else's records is like, oh my God, that worked. And then it just, it felt very natural. But for myself, and it, then it is a little bit of imposter syndrome for sure. But it's like, well, that's, but this is the same voice I've been hearing, like the same things that have been going on since I was a kid. So like, it's hard to trust that. Um, and that is it me or is it channeled or inspired? I'm not entirely sure. And so this happened in um, a meditation just the other night when and I was like, and then all of a sudden I just ended up in this void and I'm sitting there and it's like, well, what, what would you like to know? I'm like, oh, and I said, well, I guess I would like to know this, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get an answer. And like, well, just imagine that you're going to get an answer. And I was like, okay. And I did it. And I imagined it. And it was like, see, that was easy. And I was like, oh, you've been here the whole time. And they're like, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> you know, so this, this mental imagery um, and being able to kind of like create the problem and imagine it and feel it and live it and create it energetically. And then you just kind of erase that screen, right? It's like, just get like a, an energetic eraser and then change it and say, okay, so let's look at possible solutions or scenarios. What does it look like if this, what would it look like if this, you know, to Christina's point, um, so imagination is probably the biggest driver behind me having more confidence when I'm doing my own work. Um, sometimes words just come in, I just write them down and then it doesn't really sound like my voice, but um, the imagery is something that I've been playing with and I found that to be pretty helpful.